in the previous video you have understood that what is a decoder and how to get the boolean expression and how to implement the circuit so this is a final circuit we have understood that uh, a decoder we can design a four two cross four decoder so let us design it with the multi sim so in multi sim what i need first of all i need four and gates there so i'll just go to all groups and search for the and gates so i need a two input and gate and four number of and gates are required so i'll just take one and then uh, later i can do the copy paste for that next i need a not gate also two not gates are required to get the a dash and b dash so here two not gates are there so i'll just uh, keep it here then two is required you can copy paste this and the next thing is required is a probe for you to look at the output whether the output is on or not we are getting the output or not so i am here i am taking one then we can just copy paste this to four so all my components i have taken so let me just uh, copy paste this to four different and, and gates okay so we are just implementing this circuit in the multi sim now next we need one more not gate also so this not gate i will put it here let's say little far away and also we need the interactive switch that i uh, forgot to tell so interactive switch is to control the input that right? uh, 1 and 0 or 0 and whatever combination we want to give so that will be there so interactive digital switch we just need one and the rest i can just copy paste it okay so another one is here this b it is a and here this u1 represents d0 d d1 d2 and d3 so this probes also i need four probes for four outputs so here i am just connecting the copy pasting the probes again okay so fine now we'll do the connections so probe 1 will be connected to d0 then probe 2 will be connected to d1 probe 3 will be connected to d3 and the last one will be connected to your d5 d4 okay after this we have to do the input connections also so if you can see here the value of d0 is what the value of d0 is a dash b dash right so one terminal will be connected here which is again coming from a that means uh, it is a dash and another terminal is coming from b so which is another terminal here b dash okay so next uh, it is d1 which is a dash b so a dash b how to get so here already a dash is available here a dash and b we have to take from the before the not gate if we take it becomes the b next one is d2 which is a b1 so d2 is sorry a b dash so uh, a will be taking here so this is your a and b dash so b dash is already available to us here so we can just connect it here next one is a b so next one is a and b directly so a we can uh, it is available here we can just connect it a and this one is b so we can just connect it to here okay so now the circuit is complete let us uh, simulate and see whether it's working or not so now you can see the input is 0 0 and d 0 is glowing fine so it is working now if the input uh, 1 0 that means d2 should glow according to a b we have written so d2 is glowing next is if both are equals to 1 then d3 should glow it is glowing and if it is 0 1 then uh, this will be controlled your second d d1 will be glowing right so this is how we can implement a 2 cross 1 multiplex uh, 2 cross 4 decoder using multi sim in the next videos we will see how to implement higher order decoder using lower order decoders uh, through uh, a input uh, uh, module is already there in this uh, multi sim we will see that how to use that decoder and uh, we will also see that how you can implement a full adder and a full subtractor using this multi sim uh, using decoder again okay so thank you and uh, we will see in the next video